welcome and you may sit. It is good to be here. Bishop Greenaway, after a very long time, I dare add, it's good to be in this hall once again. It is my pleasure, on behalf of the government of St. Martin, to welcome all I our visitors, to, to welcome all the visiting pastors and bishops who for the next three days are going to be assembled here I on St. Martin. And as your theme goes, you seek to pursue the spirit for renewed vision and growth. And I might be somewhat biased if I Show say that I couldn't think of a better place for you I to do that than right here on our island, St. Martin. I, I am sure none of you will disagree that these are difficult times. Whether we speak of St. Martin, Dominica, Suriname, Martinique, Antigua, Montserrat, and Willa, or any other country, we all have to test the fact that we live in challenging times. In fact, in thinking of your feelings, Charles Dickens quote in the These are the ages of wisdom. These are the ages of foolishness. This is the spring of hope, and this is the winter of despair. All around us, there are these types of paradoxes. And so it is at this time, on this island, your assembly chose to gather together to see that renovation, reinvigoration, rejuvenation in order to continue your calling. I salute you. You could have, like many all over the world, feel tempted to do in times like these, to throw your hands in the air. But you have chosen to come together and renew that spirit, seek that invigoration, to be able in your individual countries to continue your mission, your calling, and simply put, to continue to pray for the nations of this world. I wish you fruitful discussions for the next three days. There is much to talk about. All over the world, it's about the re, the renewal, the reinvigoration, doing things again, doing them like you did not do them before. And that is what you are all here today, tomorrow, right through Sunday, to do as well. I think not only have you chosen a good time, you have chosen a good place. St. Martin, like a cosmopolitan community that we are, we face all challenges. We share the triumphs that many countries much bigger than we are, are facing as well. And so today, as you gather and open this regional convention, I encourage you to talk about your role, to talk about the place of the church in society, to talk about the role of the church in terms of families, especially our young people, all over the region, are facing the same challenges and communities and governments are asking themselves, where do we take it from here? We don't have the answers. But I think in the morning, I share with you the call that what are we going to do tomorrow for our community, for our region, and for the world? We know one thing, and we stand witness to that, that we know who holds the tomorrow.
You will continue to labor in the vineyard. You will continue to seek ways to empower the societies and communities in which you live. You will continue to seek ways to make our communities better places for future generations to come. I agree with you on that. Say, Master, you and so are all the so God, do it in me. Reveal your glory and your power. In us, God, do your people. Show me your face. I want to see you. Because I cry. Show me your face.